My name is uh, Lesia Nikolaychik, and I'll be showing the possibility of how to automate the localization workflow uh, when something has to be updated very quickly after the application release, preferably without the redeployment of the application. My colleagues must have shown already the primary concepts of how Localize works and how the content can be uploaded, uh, translated, reviewed, uh, exported and deployed. So I won't be focusing on Localize interface too much with how to perform the sections now, but let's take a step back and discuss how translations are usually added to the applications so that we can nicely introduce the over-the-air translation updates concept and see the difference. In traditional workflow, uh, one has to provide the translators with uh, the source content, then source copy gets reviewed and um, ready for the translations. And the translation project manager, for example, or any other person groups uh, content for translations and creates a task for the linguists. Um, then translations get performed, reviewed and approved by multiple parties. Uh, example, for example, country owners, brand marketing teams, uh, legal uh, and other departments, if necessary. Then translations usually get tested in a design or in the application itself in some sort of the pre-deployment version. Afterwards, translations get deployed into production by developers. And a new build of the application is created and sent to April or Google to approve a new version of the application. And once a new version of the release um, is released on the market, end users need to update or auto-update the application to see the recent changes introduced. So besides the translation and revision part, uh, the sequence of actions uh, from the moment when the application translations get tested to the moment when the application is approved by Google or Apple and get updated by the users should be repeated multiple times for every change in the copy or every change in the faulty translation. And this is where the over-the-air translations updates come in place to make a life of all the parties uh, involved much easier. So how did the concept of OTA over their solutions uh, translations work in practice? Translations are sent by part of the application built to Google Play Market or App Store. Um, those are usually stored in the local files and are then loaded by the end users as part of their uh, mobile application. With the help of localized mobile SDK software development kit, one can integrate a model into their apps that will look for translations elsewhere and source them into the application. More specifically, it will search within translation bundles prepared on the localized platform and take the most recent version of the translations that will be downloaded, cached and stored locally on end user devices. So here is a simple example. Um, the company XYZ has released a new version of the application on September 1st, 2021. And it has taken presumably two to three weeks uh, for the team to release a new feature and a new version of the application for it. Let's say that on September 5th, uh, 2021, uh, the company has realized that there are some ambiguous or earnest translations and that it has to fix as soon as possible. The team is able to identify the needed changes uh, in localize and fix them. If the team were to go to developers and testers and ask them to proceed again with uh, the steps from uh, performing tests for translations to uh, forming a new bundle and releasing it uh, for approval to uh, Apple or Google Play Market, um, then with it could, it could have taken them up to two weeks and definitely involve extra hours of developers and testers work. With the OTA mechanism, the team can fix the typos on the fly themselves. So content that requires changes can be identified, localized, even um, within the user interface. No coding is required or new files and changes with the uh, files with the changes can be pushed by developers to localize. 
Then translations can be modified and reviewed. Again, it can be done within the user interface and even some automatic pre-translation mechanism could be run, for example, to uh, provide machine translations for the uh, newly added content. And also a revision task can be created for the team to review translations, for example, pre-translated versions for easier workflow management. Then a notification can be sent to a project manager once the translation and optional revision is completed. And a project manager or any other person can generate a new localized bundle with translations that include the needed changes, uh, and filtering the translation changes uh, that were made after the application was released. In this case, it's uh, uh, so the release date is September 1, so the person if essentially has to filter and find all changes made after uh, September 1st form the, and form the bundle. Um, the new translation bundle gets formed as, uh, automatically as a pre-release version, so it means that any user, uh, like translator, project manager, tester, who has access to the test application can see uh, the changes in translations uh, live. We are over the air mechanism uh, to validate the changes in devices. And once everything is ready, uh, the translation bundle can be sent to a production version just in one click. And this means that from this point in time, the end users will receive the updated translations uh, after the application uh, gets restarted. Or SDK um, can be configured in a way that the next time the user opens the application, it will only check if any new translations um, are available to be downloaded, and only with the next release restart of the application, uh, the new cache translations will appear. This is uh, helpful, uh, especially for the markets where internet connection can be unstable and where you want users to receive proper version of translations uh, at once, uh, not to be downloaded on the go. And this means um, that this whole process means that the translation project manager, together with the linguists, now own the process of translation changes uh, without the need to call for developers for help. And they can modify translations, they can test them in test applications and release the, pub the changes to the public in a few simple steps uh, using localized interface only. Or if they want to, or then with the help of developers, this process can be even automated to some extent uh, with the scripts, uh, which will make it even more powerful. And an important thing to keep in mind is a disclaimer. Um, this uh, over-the-air update mechanism, it doesn't substitute the traditional process when a new version of the application gets released um, because there can be new functionalities, new keys, um, new like things added, uh, but it can help to release fewer versions of the application uh, by minimizing cases when new versions are needed only to fix uh, the translation errors. And as a result, all this gives a very powerful possibility to perform quick fixes of translations that instead of uh, formally like um, one, two weeks uh, can to process can take a few minutes and the process can be easily repeated uh, if needed multiple times uh, by non-technical people. I hope that this was a nice overview uh, into the over-the-air translation mechanism and you can definitely check uh, localized um, documents for, for more details or contact our amazing support team.